Here we go, Para. Here we go. Good day, legends. TKC Sports here outside a core stadium for one of the biggest days of my life supporting the Parramatta Eels as we take on the Pembroke Panthers in the grand final to end a 36 year drought and the Pembroke Panthers to go back to back and be the only only the second NRL team to do that since the Roosters in 2019. I know, real long ago. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and enjoy, and let's get on with this vlog. All right, guys, time for some pre-game predictions. I'm going for the Parramatta Eels, one to 12. It's gonna be a tight game. I can't really see more than one to 12. I'm prepared to be proven wrong as the Panthers very easily could <laughs> could win this but at the same time obviously not only is there bias in my predictions but also if there's any motivation i understand it was circumstantial that power of one two of the last three but 36 years to end a 36 year drought what's more motivation than that right i mean that as the eels fan over here just said <laughs> we've got to be on our top game though this is going to be we're going to need moses to really come to the park i understand he had a good long week or two but this is the most important game of most of these Parramatta Eels players' careers. We're losing so many next year that honestly I think there's going to need to be a rebuild after this one. So this is our chance for the next few years. I'm not going to lie to you Eels fans. Anyways, 1-12 to Parramatta Eels, let's get on with it. Go Para! <laughs> Come on, Para! Let's beat the Panthers! Break this ground! Come on, Paris. Step up your bloody game. And Brian Toto gets the try. 10-0 to the Pembroke Panthers. Gonna need to come back. And Scott Sorensen scores for the Pembroke Panthers. 16-0 with a kick to come. It'll probably be 18 nil. We've seen these kinds of comebacks before from the Eels, but this is going to be a tough one. And that is half time, folks. It's tough half to be supporting the Parramatta Eels for. Great half to be supporting the Penrith Panthers. Oh. Mate, I have no words to describe that. We just weren't good enough, to be honest. Um, some of those tries were way too soft, in my opinion. And we just never... Until we got back on the attack, we never really looked like getting back into it, you know? Um, towards the end, it looked a bit better, but... At the moment, Panthers win. I, I think... I understand anyone who doesn't support the Eels going, Panthers got this in the bag, but... i got to stay optimistic. 18-0 is a scoreline that is still... You can still come back from it. It's not easy definitely not easy but you can do it uh, you just got to take the wins and the losses though um, I'm still enjoying it I'm making the most of it so. anyway, 
Paramaterials, my halftime prediction. I'm probably gonna go six or less now. Paramaterials, six or less. Please, let's come back. Go, Para! After a Brian Toto try, it's 22 0. Not easy to support power sometimes, but half an hour is a long time, right? Well, that sums up our night in a nutshell. Far around! Clinton Jefferson, the Paramount Eels get a try and we do not be kept to nil. 28 to 4. I don't care about the result. We scored. 28 to 4 with a kick to come. It'll be 28 to 6. Um, oh god. Been a rough game, but that's a good moment in it. Go barrel. <laughs> and on all the players, Jacob Arthur gets a try. Come back on. Go para. 28-10 with a kick to come. It'll be probably 28 to 12. It is the impossible comeback of 30 seconds a try on. Go para! Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards, the Clyde Clark medal. Definitely deserved. Still dealing with the loss, but definitely deserved. He was by far one of Panthers best players this year and definitely one of the best on the court. Yeah, first is to say congratulations to Nate Kelly. Well said, Guffo. Well said. Proud to have him as our captain. Premiership trophy, celebrate with your team. Ladies and gentlemen, you're the winning premiers. Anyways guys, that was the match day vlog. Very, very tough night to uh, be a Parramatta Real supporter, but at the end of the day, it's the best I've watched them do in, uh, in pretty much my whole time supporting them that I can remember. So there's definitely positives to look at about this season. Uh, Pampers were the better team simply. We didn't turn on till like two minutes to go. Like honestly, two tries in two minutes. What the hell, Parra? Where was that for the last 75 minutes, you know? Uh, a little frustrating, but the better side of the year one. I can't tell you that I'm not devastated, but... And I did tell you at halftime, I think, using all your brains, you'd think uh, Panthers are winners, but... Anyways, if you, if I just want to thank all of my subscribers for the incredible season we have had. Uh, seriously, when I started this season, we were on 30 subscribers, and now we're heading to 850 got chasing that 900 and then in the off season 1k i can't i can't thank you all enough but if you made it to this far in the vlog uh maybe you want to hit that subscribe button it'll be tough saying goodbye to marnie and uh 
Oregon Kafusi. And oh god, we're losing so many. Isaiah Papali'i. I'm gonna miss them all, man, but at the end of the day, shit happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video or vlog, but it's probably gonna be a bit before I do another vlog. Thanks for watching, guys.